Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Your Digital Signage Solution. In this video, we're going to give you a guided tour of your digital signage platform. So what is digital signage? Well, digital signage is a great way that you can visually communicate with your customers, colleagues and visitors. Once you've logged into your digital signage solution, you'll be directed to the home page. On your home page at the top, we have three different areas. Creatives, this is what we call our presentations. We have playlists. A playlist is the order that the creatives will play in. Next to playlists, we have got screens. And screens are what we will publish our playlist to. If we continue across the top of our digital signage platform, we come across a bell. The bell will give us notifications in regards to our creatives. Next to the notifications, we can change the language that the digital signage platform is set to. Simply choose the language you would like and the platform will instantly change. Next to language, we can look at our settings. We have our advanced settings where we can look at the configuration and parameters of our digital signage screens. Next, we have groups. A group is where we can create a group and for example, put five players into that group. So when we publish to that group, all of the screens will be playing the same content. It's a quick and easy way to be able to deploy across multiple screens with the same content. We can also change our settings. Under settings, we can have a look at our profile. We can change things such as our password, as well as the email address. We can go to account settings, account team, and if you have the correct permissions, the account log. To return back to the home page, simply click on Return to Studio. If we now move down to just below My Creatives, we could click on the New Creative button and start to make our first presentation. Next to Creatives, we have our Media Center. Our Media Center is where we keep all of our images and videos. It can be useful to upload these items before you start to make a creative. To do so, simply click on Media Center. You'll then be able to see all of the images and videos that have already been uploaded. If we click on Upload Media, we could then choose to add new assets via My Device, so your computer, or they may be on a shared device such as Google Drive or SharePoint. We can also bring in assets from Dropbox, Unsplash, Pixabay, Giphany, as well as design outstanding presentations with Canva and Post to My Wall. From here, we can simply click left to go back to our home page. If you wanted to create a folder structure to keep everything neat and tidy for you and your colleagues, simply click on the New Folder button, give the folder a name, and then click Save. We can then simply go to the creative we wish to go into the folder, Press and hold our mouse button down and we can simply drag it across to the folder and let go. If you wish to move items between folders, simply move to the folder, click on the three dotted lines to give you additional options. From here, we can open the folder, rename it, delete it, or we can move items from one folder to another or a folder to another folder. Simply click on the move to, click on the designation folder and then click OK. If I now click into my training folder, we can see that we've got our test folder as well as the asset that was originally in there. To move the asset from one folder to another, simply move to the creative, click on the three dotted lines, and from here we can preview our creative, we can edit it, we can move it, duplicate it, delete it, and if statistics are enabled, you will be able to see how often it's been played. So it's a proof of play measure which can be useful if you're charging for the use of your digital signage screen. Under the More Center, we can download, we can have a touch pop-up, copy the name or copy the key. These will be explained in later videos. To move the creative from one folder to another, simply on the creative, click on the Move button, choose the folder you would like it to go into, and then simply click OK. We have now moved from one folder to another. To return back to the home page, simply go to the folder with the up arrow and it will take us back out to our home page. We can now move over to the right hand side and click on the magnifying glass to search for a creative, 
we can edit a creative, delete it, copy it, sort, filter, and even list our folders and creatives. To make a new creative, simply click on the blue creative button. We can either start with a blank page or we can use one of the many templates that have been created for you. To help you find the right template for you, we can sort the templates either via screen orientation or screen size. We can choose via sector and we can sort via alphabetically or aspect ratio. To use one of the templates to edit it with your own content, simply find the template you wish to use and click on the plus symbol. To use a blank page, simply move to the start fresh with a blank page icon and press on the plus symbol. Now we're in our first creative. On the left hand side are our widgets. This is how we bring in all of the different types of content. If you can't find a widget for a particular type of content, you can use the search bar. In the middle is our canvas. Our canvas is where we will place our widgets and our assets. And this is what will be published to your digital signage screens. On the right hand side are our settings. From here, we can change the name of our creative, add a description, change the aspect ratio, change the resolutions, change between percentages and pixels, and we can even change the orientation of our creative from landscape to portrait. If you wish to add a background, simply move down to appearance. Using the drop down menu, we can choose from one of the royalty free backgrounds supplied by Unsplash. Simply click on the background you would like and your canvas will change. If you wish to use a solid color, you can use one of the pre-made colors at the top. Alternatively, click on the plus symbol and you can now either choose from the color palette, type in the color hex code, change the transparency and even add a gradient. Once you've got the correct color, simply click OK and then click OK a second time. Now we have a background color, we can add our widgets. To add a widget, simply move to the left hand side, find the widget you would like to use and you can either press and hold your mouse button and then drag it onto the canvas, choose the location you would like it and simply let go. Alternatively, press on the widget once and it will appear in the middle of your canvas. To move your widget, simply press and hold your mouse button and then you can move it to the required location. To change the size of the widget, move your cursor to either the side or to a corner until the cursor changes. Once you see two arrows, press and hold your mouse button and you can drag your mouse to make the widget bigger or smaller. To add a content to your widget, simply move over to the right hand side and we can see all of the images that we have already uploaded to our media center. To add one, simply click on the image you would like and it will appear within the widget. If you wish to add a asset that has not been uploaded, simply click on Open Media Center, Upload Media, and then simply choose the location that it's stored. Once it appears in your Media Center, all you need to do is click on the relevant image, click Add to Creatives, and it will then appear within the widget. To make your first creative, simply drag and drop the relevant widgets onto your canvas. If I now add an RSS feed to my canvas, I've added it at the bottom. I can now resize it so it goes the entire width of my canvas. Because I'm highlighted on that widget, the settings on the right hand side have changed. With the RSS widget, I can use one of the pre-installed addresses or I can simply click in the search bar and paste in my own RSS feed we can then make relevant changes to get the appearance that we wish to do so. Once you have the creative looking exactly how you like it, all we need to do is simply click the save button. Now that the creative is saved, if we click on the X button, it will take us back to our home page. From the home page, we can now navigate to the playlist tab. Here you will see any playlists that have been created. To make a new playlist, simply click on New Playlist. At the top, we can now rename it to something that is appropriate for that particular screen that you wish to publish to. 
we can add a description. If we move to the left hand side, we will see our folder structure and any creatives that are not in a folder. To add a creative, simply click on either the folder or directly onto the creative and it will appear on the right hand side. Simply add all the creatives that you wish to be in the playlist. Now that our creatives are within the playlist, we can see how long the default time is for each creative. The first creative is set to 35 seconds. This could be due to having a video in your creative. To change the duration, simply click on the time and then either over type in seconds or use the up and down arrow. Once you have the required duration, simply click on the green tick to accept it. If we move up and click on the calendar, from this page we will be able to set which days this creative will play on our screens. We can remove days by simply clicking on the days we do not wish the creative to be played. If we do not want the creative to play throughout the whole day, but only between certain times, we can simply untick the all day. We can then simply move to the start time and change it. We can then tell it to play until a certain time, for example, 11.59. We may want it to repeat itself later in the day, so I can click add time. Now I can simply type in the time I would like it to resume and I can have it going throughout the day choosing to hide itself or appearing. We can make advanced settings, for example start and stop playing on exact time. So that means that if I've set this to 8 o'clock and it was playing a playlist and we hadn't come to that creative yet, as soon as we got to 8 o'clock the playlist would stop and it would then start with this creative. We can add it within a loop for a scheduled time if we wish to do so. If we do not want to have it playing continuously every day throughout the week but only during certain dates, we can move up to the top and click on custom dates. We could then set it for the future. For example, we may want it to only appear from the 26th and then play continuously or we may choose an end date, for example, the 31st of January. Again, we can add additional dates if we wanted to do so. We can even make it reoccurring so we'll always play between these dates each year. Exactly as we did previously, we can untick all day and set a time restriction on it if we wanted to do so. If we now move from scheduling over to events, it gives us some additional options. If you've made a touch creative using the touch widget, we would need to click on touch event. We can also say that if nothing is scheduled for a particular time, then this creative would play. We can even create custom events as an advanced setting. Once you have set up your creative how you would like it, simply click add. We would then need to repeat on the second creative. Once this is done, move up to the top right hand corner and simply click the create button. Now that we've made our creative, we've created a playlist, we can now click on our screen settings. Here we will find all of the screens that are currently connected to our digital signage solution. At the moment I have one screen. If I move over to the right hand side we have several options. We can search for a particular screen, we can add a configuration, we can download the content, we can edit a screen, we can delete a screen, we can sort and we can list. To add a new screen, we'd simply click on the Create button, give the screen a title, click Create. I've now created a second screen. Now that I have my second screen, I would need to click on the Edit button. We would need to choose what content we wish to play on that screen. If I choose the playlist we've just created, I can now click on the top right hand corner, I can either update, so that will publish the screen, so when I join my screen to the digital signage solution, it will start to play that playlist. Alternatively, I can click on the preview button to see what it would look like. Now that I have updated my screen, I can either click on copy screen link, open a new browser and paste the screen address in, 
and it will then show me exactly what I've published. It will give me a good representation of what will appear on the screen. To add this particular screen to a physical player, you will need to copy the screen key and then follow the particular instructions for your media player. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of your digital signage solution. Thank you.